Hey guys, welcome back to my interview. video. Today I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to do a ladder coach. Well, as you can see, I have an entire setup. You guys won't, but just say you're in a situation where you're on a high place and there's a block down there that you need to turn ladder on. So, let ladder clutch on. So, like, and you need to, like, you keep on failing like this over and over. What you have to do is you have to get exactly a perfect amount of blocks away, like this, and then go. It, like, you have to get half a block. Like, I'm good at doing ladder clutches, guys, trust me, like that. But, still, there's some specific things you need to do. First off, you need to get the exact block once again. Like, if you want to do it all wrong, you have to get the exact block to do it. But sometimes that is hard. Hopefully, you just practice a lot, then you can do it. So the main way you do this is you have to get exactly a quarter of the block. So let me go on creative. As you can see, when you're dropping, you need to have sure to be like almost halfway on the block. Okay. Like watch. Well, that time it was fun. I'll show you two comparisons real quick. First version, you don't really try to get there, but you but you can't figure out the exact block you need to go on, or you go too close. I accidentally did that. <laughs> or the version where you measure the block while you're falling and then try and do it like that. Now I also will show you, I'll be sure. Yeah. It's pretty easy. Or you could practice actually vine clutch first. But yeah. I'm gonna show you another one real quick. Um I never hard one. So I'm gonna go from three hundred and ten blocks in the air, drop a ladder. And show you exactly um, what you could do. you have to go aim your block measurement perfectly, which is kind of hard, but especially from this height, but if I go, like, right there, yeah, got it, I'm going to slow down, but then, oh, I never think people do, they actually place it down under you, so you actually take fall damage if you go perfectly, but if you go on a specific side, then you don't take fall damage. Like, I'll just show you it for 25 blocks for now. Pretty sure you can actually survive from. Can you just walk off and survive? Well, this is pretty easy. Too bad, like, I'm gonna go up to 75. <laughs> like, any of the. The one we're talking about though today is not our ladder MLGs. So, let's see 150 blocks. It, how you should practice this is by keep on going up. Keeps on going up. Just keep on going up in height. And then I'm only going to go all the way up because I'm better than going on. Uh, I'm good at doing it. But as you can see, while you're falling, you could just clutch by. Ah, I forgot! So how you could do it is get this exact same map I have. It's on a website I will link in the description. It's very good for texture packs. And you could do what I'm doing right now. Let's see. Looks like I fell. It's not like I'm gonna clutch or anything. Oh wait, I am dead! <laughs> Ignore that. Just ignore that. I'm gonna die real quick. What's those other letters I can try and land on? Nope. But how 
could try to land it is by landing. You need to measure how fast you're falling, by the way. If you're falling too fast, you can't land them. So you need to be sure that you're not falling too fast, but you're not falling too slow. Or else, well, this will happen. Or you're too close to the walk, or else they place it down and you land on the ladder. Yes. So don't do this. Like, make sure to measure it so you do land on it, but sometimes you don't land on it, so you just need to watch it. And also, if you're new to the game, and it works on bedrock, like I'm doing this on bedrock. Mission. But, yeah, it's this. That is it for really how to land the ladder MLGs. Bye guys, see you guys in the next video.